hello everyone welcome back to mules of tech zone this is the second video on acb series so any point code builder i have taken some time to record this second video the reason behind that is last time when i have launched any point code builder if you log into any point platform and you can find this option to get started with any point code builder and i have used the cloud based versions like uh like if i click on launch it will be opening on a new screen like on chrome itself like the online ones and i told that i will be showing on how to do things in desktop visuals visual studio right uh so what happened is my laptop it was like older version and i was not able to install microsoft visual code because of the os issues and all the stuff now it started out because i have got a new lap new laptop so if you are new and uh, again both the cloud version of acb and the desktop version both are same like you know your code will be saved on your local so don't worry about that so either you can go with like just the cloud version or you can also like download ms visual studio code for the desktop version okay it's very simple like click on install so it will take you to uh you know this uh, extension pack however before doing that you have to install you have to read the prerequisites okay whether you are using windows machine or mac okay please don't uh, forget to read the prerequisites before e before even like installing this package please download all three of them like kit of course it's not mandatory but visual studio code version 1.76 or later and of course you have any point platform account with you that's it so i have downloaded my visual studio code which i'm going to show you i have already set up some things but uh, this is how it looks it's the same like if you go to the cloud version you can see here right so it's the same thing this is the cloud version of acb and this is the desktop version of acb both are one and the same all right so without wasting time so last time i have shown you like how to create a basic raml right uh again before even before like getting yourself familiar with acb you must learn maybe like it's a prerequisite to know how visual studio works okay not necessary to learn like deep dive but you just good to know okay so let me close all the stuffs here we will save close it yep so from here onwards from this session i will be using the desktop version of acb i wanted to reiterate like uh, whenever you have installed your package the extension package you will be able to see this mule symbol over here or else it's just the if it is just the visual code when you open you won't be able to find this mule logo here okay if you click on here you can see this is a place where you will be able to see the options to design your api or implement or you know develop an integration and next thing what i wanted to say is like if you have not logged in already please click on this icon i have already logged in so it is showing my username but uh, uh, it will actually allow you to log into your you know uh, account as well as like if you see here on the left side there is account you can see like you know all these settings please explore the options because this tool is quite new so you might face some difficulties initially when you want when you are getting started with acb all right now in the last raml what we have done is like we have uh, written all the code like entire code in a single uh, raml file right so today i'm going to show you how to uh, create folders or how to create files and include them in your main raml it's everything is same guys it's just the same thing it's just that you are coding inside any point code builder okay the only thing that you might be seeing uh, or you might be facing a difficulty is like if you remember like uh, uh, whenever we want to whenever we design an api it will give some auto suggestions what's next right for example uh, let me go to my explorer here so my main raml here if at all if i if i am creating a new endpoint here for example get a 
tracking status or whatever it is get tracking colon and if i enter automatically the indentation would have gone to you know like a tab space would have like automatically shown but here in this acb because it is a visual code visual code based studio i don't think uh, till now i didn't see that uh, option you know the auto intendation and uh, you know suggestions right uh, immediately if you are designing your raml in your design center right uh, you would be seeing like get put post all those suggestions would be, would have been coming right so here that that part is missing that's something like which you need to take care of so i have already written my code here so this is my main raml okay uh if you want to delete let me delete whatever i have created yeah so this is my main raml and uh, you can see like everything is coded everything is same just uh let me quickly uh drag my screen over here yep so here you can see like i have already designed a raml in design center so all that i have done is like just copy everything and uh, paste it like acb session so paste it okay so everything works fine as it is the only thing is like you won't get this auto suggestions and all um, next thing is like if you want to create a new folder um, so see uh, consider this as your main project okay acb session 2 is my api spec name when i try to design a center just like here okay when you expand this okay here is where you will see the options to create file and folder again don't get confused with the symbols here like i don't see a tooltip yeah you can see here the tooltip so it takes some time to pop up so this is new file and this is new folder and if you want to create a new folder very simple like create like examples folder and create like another uh, again this when i click again like this is creating inside examples folder so if you want to create a folder on the root level click here somewhere here and click on folders data types okay simple very simple and unlike in design center unlike uh, for example if you want to create a new file and uh, you will be choosing your file type right for example if you want to go with like example it will automatically create with this like named example and all again this is all like common comments right so forget about that you won't be able to see that here in your acb because like for example if i go to example click on examples and click on this file so that it will create a file under examples folder and you can see there like it is automatically showing like which part of the folder it belongs to like you know test dot raml of course the extension is always raml for any kind of this thing you can see like you will get a plain one most of them think that this hash is something like a syntax now if you remove hash that's fine this is just you know the com comment section so whenever you in raml whenever you are using hash followed by any text is just the comments okay so but it's always best practice to define you know what kind of file type it is okay for example here it says like named example so here also you can probably like mention like raml uh, or sorry the comment section is like a raml followed by percentile symbol this one so if, if you type any text i think this should work yeah all right so i won't waste much time on this but uh, yep you can get started like you know whatever example you have you can always copy paste the example uh, i think i already have one example here if i'm not wrong yeah i have an example so i just copy pasted from the other one you can put it inside your test.raml copy paste one and the same again please uh, make sure that uh, you get well versed with the syntaxes and all because it will not show you the auto suggestions here and same thing with data type so you can always create a data type file again like click on the folder click on plus symbol here and um, maybe data type dot raml so i have created this file inside data types and if you go to data type i'll just copy paste and paste it okay 
the only thing though it doesn't show these suggestions here but for example office right you can see the intention like it is like within properties within address object within items again items is an array so it has properties and it is office right so it will show this kind of intention over here all right rest everything is just the same like uh, let me show you where i have included yeah you can use the same syntax like exclamatory include followed by your raml file name okay or you can i have created a folder called data types right so let me again suggestions now it won't pop up so data types slash and what is my name data type dot raml okay it's it's quick now you can always use command click or control click it will take you to that particular file so this is how you externalize files in acb to design when whenever you're designing a api all right so if i go back to my main raml here and uh, you can click on this icon to view the documentation just like how you have you know documentation thingy so if you go to our main root raml it's one and the same okay and click on this you, you you can try it and you can do all those stuff okay rest everything is same so as acb as again like acb is a new tool here so try to get habituated and one more reason why i haven't made like second video is because like i got a uh, issue like uh, uh mules of prep yeah uh, there was an issue that i have faced and it stopped me from doing these uh, videos and uh, i didn't find any solution it it has gone automatically this is the error that i got like mule dx ap component was not installed so uh the only thing like is like wait for the error to disappear that's what i have done but it took me like one week or so so probably they will the team would be working on this as because like the full version of acb will be re released in october yep if you have any questions any issues with the tool and all always feel free to reach out to uh, me or you know to the community we will always uh, you know take your feedback to the product team and uh, uh, we can get it sorted so in the next one uh in the next video so this is very short video i just wanted to show you the desktop version of acb and how to uh, externalize the files like within the folder structures and all and in the next one i will show you how to publish into exchange and how to create a project in acb hope you like this session and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to the channel to get the notifications about the latest videos until then see you in the next